Horace Mann Daily Challenge number 11. Hello and welcome to Daily Challenge number 11. This one's a little bit different. This one's going to be a balancing challenge. So jogging on the spot, we need to warm up. Make sure your area is completely clear so that you are safe at all times. So let's go over. I'm going to show you this die here. We're going to be using the die. There's either one, two, three, or four on each side. We won't do five or six because when we roll it, wherever we roll, that's the point we have on the floor. So if we roll this one here, you will see that we have to balance on one point. Let's keep on warming up. Let's do our skips. I'm doing the figure of eight skips. So I've got a bit of space. Keep moving around. Jogging on the spot again. Keep those knees going. Do some jumping. Pretend you've got a jump rope. Move your arms a bit. The bit of spotty dogs with the jump rope. High knees again, jogging on the spot. We're nearly done with the warm up. It's not a long warm up today, but we do need to make sure we warm up our arms as well. So arm circles, forwards and backwards. It's really hard to hold shape when you're doing balancing. It's a challenge in its own right. It's a static balance that we're gonna do today. Shake out the arms and legs. Get out the wiggles, do some punching. Punching forwards. Punching down. And oh yes, punching to the side. Circles over, forwards, backwards. Shake out again. And you should be ready now for the... So moving straight into the challenge, we have 22 rolls that we're gonna do today. Here's the first one. What are we going to roll? We're going to roll a one. So you need to balance on one point. I'm balancing on one foot here. I'm pointing my toes. I'm making it look interesting. And I'm trying to hold as still as possible for 10 seconds. 10 whole seconds. Let's have another roll. Every time you roll, you must do a different type of balance. Next is a one again. So now I have to choose a different type of one footed or one point balance i'm doing a lean forwards here arms out by my side pointing out the back that's a different one point balance because i have one foot on the ground i'm finding this one a little bit more difficult and challenging myself at my level let's have another roll and we have a three so three point balance now what are we going to do? Two hands, one knee. From that position. Not bad. Point your toe if you can. Now you can follow my, uh, my balancing or you can do your own balancing. It's up to you. I'm showing you as a guide what you could do. But you could do anything you wanted balance wise. Remember, every time you roll the same number, you must do a different type of balance. Here's one again. I'm balancing sideways this time. One point balance off of one foot, holding for 10 seconds. Balancing is a great way to show control. Having the control to hold a position takes a lot of effort. And we roll a four. What are we going to do on this four, Mr. Clasby? He's having a think. He's gone for the downward dog. Good job. Hold that position. Two feet, two hands, 10 seconds. Not a bad starting number four. Well done. What's the next roll going to give us? Going to give us a one. What are we going to do this time? We've done quite a few ones already. Let's think of something different. 
Ah, well done. You'll also notice that I changed my foot. I've been balancing on my right foot. Now I'm balancing on my left foot. So technically, a different type of balance. Plus, I'm pointing forwards. Don't forget to breathe in between. Okay. Four. A four-point balance. That is not a downward dog. What are we going to go for? We're going to go for the crab. Or as I like to call it, the table. Now, when you do a table, you need to have your hips as high as possible and have your, your belly as flat as possible. I'm not able to do that. I've got a big belly. I'm working on that by working out every day. Okay, moving on. Back to a four. Let's see what we can do. You can hear the cogs turning in my brain as I think about this. Okay, we've gone for a plank, holding the traditional plank position. Nice and still, the still the better. Takes a lot of effort to hold these positions. Next roll, three. What are we gonna do for three now? Let's have a look. Two hands, one foot, and the other one pointing in the air. Nice job, Mr. Clasby. Have you come up with a different thing to do? That's 10 seconds. Back over to the roll. Oh, let's try again. That just fell off there. Okay. We are on three points. Ah, oh, nice job. It's like a table. I'm trying to put my hips up. Very difficult. Table with one leg missing. Or pointing up in the air. <laughs> And rolling again, what are we going to get? We have a three. Got to work out a different way to do a three now, Mr. Clasby. What are you going to do? Ah, there we go. Two legs, one hand now. It's kind of like a modified plank with one hand in the air. I like the rotation. I like the way it's held. It's very... Angular. Good job. Next roll. One. Running out of ideas. Let's see what we've got now. Ah, to the side. Holding the arms up. Very difficult to balance on one leg, especially when you don't have the stability that you should have. I'm trying my best. If you do fall over, that's okay. You just get back up and have another go. Trying to do the best is the best thing to do. If it doesn't go out properly, then it doesn't work properly, don't worry. You just keep on going. Back to one again. What are we going to do here? Okay, my hands are off the ground. I'm balancing really far forward this time. Pretty difficult. Oh, I stepped off there. Don't worry. We'll let you off, Mr. Clasby. Next roll. Another one. We keep getting ones. The law of probability. Ah, here we go. V sit. Sitting on your butt. Now, each cheek does not count as one. It is one whole butt. Not a butt cheek, not two butt cheeks, it's one butt, okay? Now it's two, so I wouldn't be able to do the V-sit. I'd have to do something else. Let's see what we're going to do. Uh, Mr. Clasby's going for the frog balance. The frog balance. Can he do it? This is very difficult. Balancing on the inside of the knees. He gave it a go. He tried it. He was challenging himself at his level. Well done for trying. Uh, more practice needed though. Okay, we're going back to two again. What are we going to do this time? 
One leg, one arm. We haven't done that yet. Good idea. Well done. I suggest no handstands today, as you don't have a qualified instructor with you. Handstands are definitely not okay. Uh, back to one, our fateful one. Mr. Clasby's thinking about it. Ah, he's decided to do a semi-dynamic balance from front to side to back. Sometimes movement makes it easier, sometimes movement makes it harder. Good job. Nice idea. Four. Four point balance. What you gonna do, Mr. Clasby? He's having a think. Those cogs are turning pretty hard. Ah. So, one leg extended out. So a table with an extended leg, using the heel as balance. Not bad, not bad, nice idea. I see what you're trying to get at. Hold it for 10 seconds, good job. Not many left, we've only got a few rolls left now. And that's a three. Uh, Mr. Clasby's going for a high-risk move here. He's going to balance lightly on his head using his hands, making a triangle. He's not balancing hard. He's staying nice and low. He's got his neck in line. He's holding that position. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, please do not do that. Make sure that you've got a soft surface underneath you. And we're back to one again. Let's try the other leg now. Partially dynamic balancing. Moving forward, side and back. Next roll is a one. What are we going to do, Mr. Clasby? Ah, oh, we're going to go on to our tippy toes. Try and balance on your tippy toes. This is obviously something that Mr. Clasby's finding difficult. Balancing while on your tippy toes. He's giving it a good go though. Something to practice for the future. Number three. And this is the last one. Last balance. Can you work it out? What are you going to do? Nice. Excellent job, everyone. Hold it for 10 seconds. And that is the end. A light cool down now. Very light. Well done, everyone. You did a fantastic job. And I'll see you next time.